Hey Gemini, I'm here to do your reading. This will be a reading for the sign of Gemini. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. This will be a reading for the next 24 hours, Gemini. I'm feeling cold. Like something cold. Like you might be cold, Gemini, or something like that. You could be dealing with a um dealing with a Capricorn who's very, very cold. Yeah, the King of Cups reverse. You're dealing with a water sign here who's very emotionally immature, very childlike when it comes to emotions. And I'm getting they call you a lot. This is someone that you talk to on the phone a lot. Could be FaceTime as well with the Judgment card. I feel the energy of FaceTime. So I feel like this person is very immature emotionally. The Seven of Pentacles, this could be someone that you've invested um, time with but not a relationship. I get that you may have wanted a relationship, Gemini, but I'm getting that just didn't happen. That didn't work or something like that. You weren't able to invest in a relationship with this person, this Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio energy here. I feel the energy of like you trying to get this to work. I feel like you're trying and you're trying and you're trying. You're doing everything in your power to make something work. You're even spending money trying to make something work. Yeah, the moon here, Scorpio. You're dealing with a Scorpio, Gemini, who's trying to, they're, they're trying to end something when it comes to you. They're trying to, they're, they're looking for a specific ending when it comes to you. You have the moon here and the ten of swords. So I feel the energy of like they're trying to end something relationship-wise. This could be someone that you separated with. The four of wands. Someone that you could have a child with or that you could share four walls with. I feel the energy of them trying to actually end this relationship that you're in. This may be why they're calling you in the next 24 hours, Gemini. Yeah, the three of wands here. You can see this coming though, you see this. I feel like you're looking out for this. You have an eye on this, definitely. The ace of cups, you have an eye on this situation. I'm getting your peep in this water sign. You're peeping them for who they are, the chariot, and whatever you're peeping and whatever you're doing it and whatever way you're doing it, I'm getting it is very successful. You're actually gaining progress while doing this. You have the um, nine of swords here, but it's stressing you out. Yeah, the world reversed. It's stressing you out here. There's something that you know spiritually about this empress here, about this Libra energy. There's something that you know about this person here. The Ten of Wands here, they don't want things to be heavy on themselves. So this may be why they're, they're trying to offer you a cup of love. Ace of Cups here. They don't know how to handle stress and maneuver in the world. Something like that, Gemini. Six of Pentacles here. Stop giving to this person. The Emperor Reverse. Stop giving to this person. Stop giving to this person. Stop giving to this person. Stop. The Knight of Pentacles is reversed here. Stop. You have to halt. Halt. Could be dealing with an Aries. Someone is not who they say they are. I'm getting you're dealing with an imposter. Could be dealing with another Gemini or an Aries. I feel the energy of separation here as well. Someone is going to recklessly separate right here because things are not going their way. The two of wands, they're going to try to find a new direction because things are not going their way, Gemini. In the next 24 hours, yeah, things are not going their way. So they're not even thinking about it. They're just going to find a new direction. You yeah. see them finding a new direction to not disappoint themselves. That was the three of swords are versed, Gemini. They don't want to, they don't want disappointment. No. They don't want the whole mental thing of being disappointed here. You have the six of cups. They don't miss you. They don't really have a connection to you. No. This is this is like a wrong person. Like, I'm getting like something is just totally wrong. So stop, halt. Just stop wherever you are the next 24 hours. Something is wrong and you know it. Stop and halt. I feel the energy of where you can't hold back. You try to hold back, but you can't. Four of Pentacles. The Knight of Cups here. Stop offering your love. Stop offering this person your love here. The Two of Swords here. Stop offering them love. Stop talking. Stop. It's something that you're speaking. You're speaking something here. 
I'm getting you're talking about money. Stop talking about money around this person. Just stop. Stop talking about new beginnings to this person because it's making them uncomfortable and to think about things in the past. It's making them think about things in the past. Could be dealing with a Virgo. Six of, six of Wands here. I feel the energy of someone is not victorious with their, their plan. Their little plan here. Seven of Cups because you can see them clearly, Gemini. You can see what I'm saying very clearly. You can see through them very clearly. I feel the energy of where you need to stop speaking something around this person. Halt. Stop. And it may be time for you to get very cold on this person with the King of Swords reverse. Very cold. Someone's working here as well. Someone's putting in some type of work. Someone's doing some type of work, putting in some type of work. The King of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius energy could be dealing with the Pisces. I feel the energy of someone actually being enlightened about their wish fulfillment and what their wish fulfillment might be. They're no longer indecisive. We have the Temperance card here. It could be dealing with the Sagittarius. I feel the energy of being off balance. Someone's off balance here. Someone could be smoking a lot of weed, Gemini. In the next 24 hours, I feel the energy of someone not underestimating themselves about their money. This could be you in the next 24 hours. You're not playing about your money, period, or your comfortability when it comes to finances and money and all of that stuff, or your comfortability, just period, or some type of timing, some type of perfect timing. I'm getting you like things in the right time, in the right timing. I feel the energy of you not holding back. You're not gonna hold something back. Some type of ending here. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. I feel a very toxic ending here. Something very toxic going on or will be going on in the next 24 hours. Money magnet, you have queen. I feel like your finances are okay, Gemini. You're being taken care of, rolling. I feel like you work on the clock, rolling. Yeah. You make money on the clock. Eight of Pentacles. Come to the edge. If someone wants you to come to the edge, Gemini. Someone wants you to meet them halfway. Round and round. I feel like when you do come to the edge, this will be another cycle. Another like toxic cycle, maybe the devil. Yang, this is your masculine. I'm getting that this person wants you to come to the edge or you want this person to come to the edge, Gemini. <laughs> to, to start another cycle, maybe. <laughs> Let's see, numerology card for Gemini. Spiritual career. I'm getting someone I'm getting someone has a spiritual career here. The high priestess? You're dealing with the high priestess, Gemini. You're dealing with someone who's very spiritual. You could be dealing with someone who teaches. Like they, they teach for a living. Like, that's what they do to make money here. Queen, this is someone who's very regal. This could be someone who's on the clock a lot. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Check my description box where you guys can book a personal reading. All right, thank you, Gemini, for watching. Take care.